Hello guys, welcome to Bala Biology World. Today we will discuss about bioluminescence. Now first of all, we need to know what do you mean by bioluminescence. Now bioluminescence is a property of property of living organism to emit light to emit light now we need to know about the light you can see guys there is a burning candle and if you put your hand wow that is uh, very hot right <laughs> uh, now this property of this bioluminescence it is actually the production of cold light it is very hot this burning candle is very hot but this property of emitting the light it is cold light it is called cold light now it ha it, it it is actually the tremendous property the dazzling property of some animal specialized animal who can exhibit this bioluminescence process now we have to know about those animal who can bioluminescence right now uh, we have to learn this phylum tinophora tino Phora. Tinophora is a phylum, third phylum, animal phylum, and they are actually exclusively marine. Exclu exclusively marine. That means all members of Tinophora are only found in marine ocean. There is no member in fresh water. All members are found in Ocean. They are called tinophoran and tinophoran have the capacity of bioluminescence. Another some phylum like orthropodan animal, orthropodan insect, orthropodan insect, some annelids, some annelids etc they have the capacity to produce light they have the capacity to produce cold light light and this process is called bioluminescence now we deal with this bioluminescence mechanism how this light is produced by the animal actually right now guys consider there is a animal actually it is an arthropodan animal arthropodan beetle and this animal this animal have the capacity to produce light on its abdomen right that is a beetle and this beetle is called firefly fire Fly. and you know very well this firefly can produce the light cold light it have the capacity to produce this light and there is another animal guys there is another animal and this animal is called pleurobranchia This animal is called Pleurobranchia and it is the animal of phylum Tinophora. And they have the capacity to produce light, right? <clears throat> now, we have to know about the mechanism of light production, how the animal light is produced. Now, there is a organ. This organ is called light producing organ. light producing organ now you consider that is 
a light producing organ of animal just consider my just consider that this light producing organ is supplied by nerve this light producing organ is supplied by nerve and by the help of this nerve by the help of this nerve this light producing organ is activated this light producing organ is activated and inside this light producing organ there is a organic chemical there is a organic substance called luciferin luciferin now this luciferin is initially inactivated this luciferin is initially inactivated now this luciferin have the capacity to produce light inside animal but this luciferin is inactivated luciferin luciferin is activated by some way by using their atp atp magnesium ion and a champion enzyme and by the help of a very champion enzyme called luciferase luciferase now this luciferin is activated by the help of luciferase enzyme atp and magnesium ion and now the luciferin is activated luciferin is activated right that is activated luciferin now this activated luciferin is further convert into it is further convert into another product and this product is called adenyl luciferin this product is called adenyl luciferin right now this adenyl luciferin is not so active now this adenyl luciferin is further activated further activated to form adenyl oxy luciferin adenyl adenyl oxy luciferin now this adenyl oxy luciferin is highly activated and highly energized and this reaction is takes place by the help of again luciferase enzyme luci ferase enzyme and also by the help of molecular oxygen also by the help of molecular oxygen and it is oxidized right now this activated adenyl oxy luciferin is highly charged and highly energized and 98% of this energy 98% is this energy is convert into is convert into light energy is convert into light energy and this adenyl oxy luciferin is become inactivated become inactivated inactive right by this way inside animal light is produced and this light the animal can use this light for their offense for their defense for their protection for the attraction of their mate right so guys that is all about the process of bioluminescence i hope you enjoy the video and it makes sense uh, guys please make sure to subscribe my channel like comment and share thank you